Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to the Archie Luxury Program. And today I want to continue the series Vintage Rolex Sports Watches. And today I'd like to talk about the Rolex Sea Dweller. The Rolex Sea Dweller. And particularly the plastic, the plastic 1665 reference. And uh, in my time, I've owned two. Two 1665s. The first one I owned, I actually, I, I had a, uh, a partner. We were advertising to buy watches uh, in the paper. And uh, he and me were buying watches together. And I, I had a job at the time, so he, he was working for himself. So he could race out and check out stuff. And... Uh, we had a call for a sea dweller. Now this was a very interesting, I can't even remember the guy's name, but it was a prototype sea dweller. It, it was a sea dweller, which this guy was a professional diver. He had letters back and forward from Rolex saying how did it perform and all sorts of things. And uh, it, it was quite an interesting watch there. It was quite, it was a lot of money. This was uh, early 2000s, it, it, was, it was nothing, it was, it was, it was a pit pittance but it had the body <coughs> the main the case had been replaced because it had been used so much by Rolex by Rolex so it's all officially done very interesting sort of piece there and uh, I it was just just an interesting sea dweller sold it sold it to a dealer made a small amount of money probably the sea dweller I remember the most was uh, my former boss from KBR. And uh, when I started working for him, I thought, wow, you got a plastic sea dweller. Plastic sea dweller. And it was a watch he'd bought himself. And even though it looked beaten up, it was actually in good condition because, yes, it looked, looked rough, but it was all original. It had never been polished. So, I mean, you could, you could restore it very well. The dial was perfect. Yes, the house light was scratched, but you could probably bring it back. Polishing it would bring it back. Absolutely amazing find. Not only was that, what, what happened is I said to him, he knew I was into watches. And uh, he came to me and said, hey, what do you think you can get me for the Sea Dweller? And I said, hey, I'll put it out to market. I got some contacts. Now, he was my boss. And uh, he's actually, he's a friend to this day. And uh, I contacted a few dealers I knew. Um, I ended up selling it to the guy I used to work for. And uh, we sold it, I sold it for 10,000 US dollars. This, this is about, oh, it would be eight years ago. It, so it, it, it was a, it was a non, it's not a red one. It was a white dial. From about 1977. Box papers, absolutely, it even had lay by installments where he'd go in to pay a hundred dollars off it. Just a lovely thing to have there. Ten th I offered it to other dealers, I offered it to other dealers, no one would pay cooey of 10,000 US. Uh, it, 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 it now, it, it's worth more, of course it is, but fuck, I, I, I didn't have the ten thousand dollars it could have been a hundred thousand dollars as far as I was concerned because I didn't I didn't have the ready cash to buy it I probably should have I probably should have but it's it's one of those things I, I didn't have the money at the time um, I sold it to my my dealer friend he he got it polished and looked an absolute cracker absolute cracker indeed so it it, it 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 came out very well my boss was happy to get the 10 grand because he he's 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 a camera collector and audio file so he, he he had other things his collections were going in so um but that that that's probably one that got away i probably should have i probably should have kept that you know that was a, a sea dweller plastic sea dwellers a cool thing to have there. It's a bit of a shame. I look back on it and think, oh, that was a chance to keep it, but 
I, 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 I was uh, spending more than I was making. You know, we, we just bought a house. I had trouble with the Alfa Romeo. But uh, it, it was a great sea As a watch, I think those plastic sea dwellers, they're, they're great investments. They they really are highly collectible. And, and they're not as bulky as these new deep seas. I think the new deep sea, the 44 mil one, is, is too big. In, in, that's in my opinion. But... Uh, it, it, it was an amazing piece. I've actually made a video on it, <coughs> on the restoration. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link. I'll put a link in this video here. It, it, that, that, that video never rated well, I must, I must say. But um, it was a very interesting thing, the Rolex Sea Dweller, plastic Sea Dweller. I've, I've, only, I've had so many submariners have come my way, but Sea Dwellers, I, I had that... that as I said, that prototype testing one, that'd be worth a fortune now. There was that, my boss's 1665, and, and uh, <coughs> I think I've had two Sapphire ones. So I, I haven't had terribly many come my way. But uh, as far as a, a piece goes, I think they're a great investment piece. Plastic Sea Dweller. Yeah, I think I should have kept... I should have bought that one from my boss, but hey, he was good to me. I never ripped him off. He he was very good to me. Um, he was very good to me. So, what do you say? It's worked out okay. I'm Archie Luxury, talking about vintage Rolexes I've owned, the plastic sea dweller. See you later, fuckers. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel i doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.